a slowly dying shark that swam up to the divers and literally begged them to help remove the hook, a whale shark that swam up to a fishing boat and begged people to cut the rope that kept it from swimming, a shark that washed ashore with a hook in its mouth. Now I'm going to tell you six amazing stories of shark rescues that needed human help. Number 6. A diver, Louis Van Aert, on a routine scuba dive, witnessed a sand shark in a difficult condition. A fishing hook stuck very deep in its head. The shark swam right up to Louis as if asking for help. The man could not deny it. Divers like Lewis often find sharks and other fish that swallow hooks. Usually this doesn't cause serious inconvenience to them, but not in this case. This shark swam closer and closer to the man, as if attracting the attention on purpose. And when the shark swam very close, the man realized that its condition was very serious and the shark was asking for help. A fishing line was sticking out of the hook and severely cut into the flesh, leaving a deep gash across the animal's head. The shark had wrinkled skin and Lewis quickly realized that the shark could no longer eat and had lost a lot of weight. It was literally on the brink of death. Lewis was afraid the shark might swim away, but it just swam nearby and was waiting for someone to help it. Luckily, there was a team of other divers. Lewis asked one of them to come closer and together they grabbed the shark and swam up with it. The other divers had a small box of tools and pliers. Putting a hand inside the head of a shark could be very dangerous, but these divers were brave and wanted to help the animal. So they decide to take a risk. It took some time, but finally the man managed to remove the hook, as you can see on the screen. But if you thought that was the end of the story, the best part was right to come. After pulling the hook out, the divers let the shark go but instead of swimming away, it began to slowly fall motionless to the bottom. Then, Lewis thought, did I do any harm? Did I do everything right? It looked like the shark was dead and help had come too late. But one thing the divers didn't consider was that, of all the fish in the ocean, sharks are the most survivable. Two weeks later, Lewis and his team were diving again at the same place. They saw this shark and were shocked. The wound had begun to heal and there was a white scar all over its head. They named the shark Scarlet and visited it often afterwards. What a wonderful story! Number 5. Most often people have to save sharks from the actions of other people, and it's very sad. This nurse shark, which, by the way, is absolutely harmless to humans because it feeds on corals and mollusks had a 30 centimeter long knife in its head. A group of divers were scuba diving in the area. When the shark spotted the people, it began circling in one place as if asking for help. These people couldn't stay indifferent. Instructor diver Ben Johnson swam up to the wounded animal and carefully pulled out a knife. There is no information about who committed such a cruel act with a shark that is absolutely harmless to humans. It has been illegal to hunt sharks in these areas since 2015. People who break the law are subject to strict measures. These fines can be as high as $100,000. Just want to say thank you, Ben, for me personally, and maybe someone will say thank you in the comments. Number 4. Now on the screen, you see another amazing story about a whale shark. It swam up to the fishing boat and asked for only one thing, help. The fishermen did not immediately understand what was the matter, and at first they were frightened by a shark swimming so close to the boat. But then they realized that its body was wrapped in a large yellow rope and the shark was thus asking for help. So the fishermen decided to help the animal. They took a pole with a hook and pulled the predator closer to the boat. 
The shark did not resist and seemed to have complete confidence in the men's actions. After a brief attempt, the fisherman cut the rope with a sharp knife and freed the stunning creature. My favorite part of this video is when the shark waved its tail goodbye, as if in gratitude. Thank you very much, kind people. Bye-bye. Wow, happy there, happy there. Wow, happy there, happy there. Thank you, happy there. Number three. The nine-foot tiger shark with a hook in its mouth was thrown onto the beach. The people on the beach decided to help it. One man sat on top of the shark so that the animal would not try to roll over and hurt itself even more. The other began to remove the hook from the tiger shark's mouth with the pliers. Finally, after several attempts, the hook was removed. But now they have a new problem. How to send a shark back into the water? Adult tiger sharks can reach a weight of 650 pounds or 300 kilos. Though the shark in this video is small, it clearly weighs at least 200 pounds. First, the man in the video decided to turn the shark over toward the tide so that the waves would pick up the animal, but it didn't work. Then another man tried to flip the shark over, but it didn't work either. You can see that people are still a little bit afraid of that shark. And no wonder. Still, the three men together pushed the shark into the water. People on the beach clapped for themselves and for the rescued shark. Well done. Number two. During a morning dive, Another group of divers came across an adult whale shark that was in distress due to a large rope wrapped around its body. The shark didn't swim away from the people, but was asking for help. I think you understand that the divers were obliged to respond to the trust. The rope must have been on this shark for a long time, as it was already covered with a lot of shells and also because the rope cut deep into the shark's flesh, most likely causing a lot of pain. In the video, you can see how a diver Dave swims up to the shark from the front, while another diver Danny swims up to it from above. For such a thick rope, the diver needs a really big knife, but the shark meekly awaits the end of the rescue procedure. After about 10 seconds, Danny manages to cut the rope, which falls into the ocean. And although the shark has a big scar, I'm sure it will heal over time, since you already know that sharks are very survivable. After a few seconds, the shark begins to slowly swim away from the heroes of this video, and I can only say a huge thanks to people who really do care. Number 1. The dropboard shark in this video was stuck under some rocks. Fortunately, it was a lucky day. The brave girl Billy decided to save the animal. She pulled it out from under the rocks. Then, holding the shark in her arms, she carried it away from the rocks. And the shark happily swam away. Beautiful job. I couldn't have said it better. Ah, oh, beautiful job. <laughs> If you watched it up to this moment, then I hope you enjoyed the video. But do not rush to leave because I have six stories of bear rescues. For example, about the 250-pound bear who spent 28 days with a plastic can on its head. Click on the video to see stories of the bears that have asked people for help. See you there!